Hello, Pisces. It's Christelle here, and I have this general reading for you for the month of July. I already got out, as you saw, the monthly uh, moon cycle love readings, and I mentioned that I would have a general reading, and this is it. And I'm going to use this uh, Lenormand card deck. It is a 36 card deck, Oracle card deck, and this is the mystic version, mystic Lenormand deck. And using a mini grand tableau, what is that? Those of you who know me and have been around in my channel know that in December, I, December, I put out a, a mini grand tableau as a forecast for the following year. And that's the same thing I'm doing here. Uh, the grand tableau is 36 cards, all of the cards. And what I've done is taken a part of that and uh, adapted it to my needs. So let's see, Pisces, what's in store for you for the month of July. I'll show you these cards. Well, these two have fallen out, and I'm going to put them right there. Okay, so let's start out with the rider, the stork, the clover, the anchor, the bear, the mountain, The whip, you can see it probably, There's he's self-flagellating, there's a whip there. The serpent, the snake, the dog, the lilies, the clouds, the lady, the house, the birds, the moon, and the coffin. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the month of July and dividing it into four weeks. I know there are 31 days and the weeks aren't that neatly divided. So every week I talk about, we'll be giving or taking one day um, before or after. Now the first week, the first week sees you um, Pisces as moving into a place that you like to call home. It's not moving actually, but you want to think about it. At least you want to harbor the notion that it's possible for you to be in a place that's so lucky that every day you walk in the door, you know that no, nothing can happen to you there. Nothing bad can happen to you because you're so happy in that space. And you know that this has to be something that's not too far from what you're at, where your activities are. And you're starting to think about that that first week because it's you need more of a sense of security and you get that. And you also like to trust your uh, your abode, your, your, the place that you want to call home, a place that you can trust, a place that is warm and characteristic that will suit you specifically. And that there's a lot of thought about that the first week. Even many of you will even be um, more than thinking, may be even sh house shopping. Now, the second week is seeing your sense of security very riding high. And you all, you keep thinking about that. You keep thinking about that as, as if that is the worst problem for you in your life. And you're going to talk to a lot of people. You see that your sense of security is starting to trouble you. It's as if the, 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 uh, the rug is being taken out from under your, your feet, either because you're, you were threatened, uh, at a job loss or you're losing money because of your, of what is going on in the world. But there's something that makes you focus on your sense of security more so than any, any time of the year. And the second week also sees you again, trying to think with a mature mind, but on the one hand, acknowledging that it is a difficult time for you, 
and at, on the other hand, not acknowledge that you're mature enough to know how to deal with it. And so you try to, you know, put these two things on, 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 on the scales and, and find some balance in that. But that second week does make you ha be uh, anxiety ridden. You are anxiety ridden. The second week is, is something that, that, you know, takes your dreams. You stop dreaming that second week and you're faced with the cold shower reality. Now the third week, the third week is, has you seeing, um, your, has you being more trustful of your wisdom and your know-how and knowing, and you tell yourself and you believe it that there, these, these difficulties will be like clouds. They're going to be dispersed. It's only temporary. And there's a woman involved that's going to help you with taking your mind off of that. Um, she's going to put your mind, bring your mind more closely to what is important, Pisces. This is just the small stuff she lets you remember. Because, and talking through her, she'll uh, with her, you will understand that what we call spirituality, what we call spirituality, what we call love, are one and the same, and love heals. It heals our power to energize our love, to bring to bear our um, energy and in love will far, far outweigh um, all of the difficulties that you think that you have. And it will be as if your problems just will, you know, fly away. And that third week is when you think, yes, she was right. I can love. I can love. I can love the curtains that I have. I can love the flowers that I'm smelling. I can love that child that just cries all night and keeps me awake, but that child is just beautiful. You know, so you have a different take. You have a different view on things the third week. Your eyes are uh, uh, as if they're, again, they're coming to be eyes of a child, Pisces. The fourth week here um, is an, is giving you cause for concern in relation to a, a place where you live or a house that you would mo like to move to or, or someone from your home that is uh, giving you cause for concern that may be treating you, mistreating you, or giving you difficulties. Um, but, you know, your notion of your redefined notion of how love can work miracles is still in your mind. And all you come, you come to the conclusion that if that person is making me feel this way, I have to end something with that person because I deserve to love and be loved and live in love. And that fourth week will have you feeling very grounded, very mm, solid. And even if there are negative ins and outs, negative things that occur to you, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces friends, you remember the words of that woman who spoke about love. And you remember that things all things, yes, do come to an end, but they are regenerated. Things, energy is always regenerated. Energy never disappears. Now, I'm going to take individually the different houses and the positions and what they mean for you. For example, endings and beginnings, Pisces. Endings and beginnings for you are like child's play. You welcome it. You welcome uh, to the notion of bringing out the old and uh, having and welcoming and embracing the new. You, you believe it and it will make you so healthy. It will give you a boost to your health. Surprises around the month, surprises involve things that occur in the home. Now, this involves both negative and positive surprises, okay? So anything involving the home is going to be up. There will be ups and there will be downs. Now, endings. Um, endings will, more than anything else, give you a cause for satisfaction, will make you happy. You will be lucky when something ends. 
uh, remember that if it wasn't meant to be, it needs to end. And you cannot start anew unless you end something. But you're okay with that, as I saw, you know, that as we saw. Oral communication in the month of July, Pisces, is what is going to make you feel grounded. The more you speak with people, the more you feel grounded. Um, your work, your livelihood give you a sense of security, and it does more and more. July is no exception. July is one more step in that direction. You're very, very lucky, and uh, the se your sense of security actually brings you toward uh, your spiritual life and your spiritual ideals, and that is something to die for, literally. Um, I have here where you get guidance, and I m did mention the oral communication here, and that is where you get guidance from an uh, interaction with verbal communication in the month of July. Now, matters of the home, I did mention it a few times. Again, matters of the home will be um, giving you some concern during the month. And public, the public life, this is where you have, you truly, you trust when you go out and speak to people face to face. Um, once again, you may be on lockdown, but when you do communicate on a, on a personal basis, face to face, um, even uh, when I say personal, but I'm talking about public life, you really feel that that is where your faith comes from. It derives from one-to-many communication. The obstacles in the month, during the month, will be faced through your maturity. So I uh, believe that there is nothing to worry about there. And also decisions that you have to make are going to be, uh, we say spinoso in, in Italian, will have be thorny. You know, there'll be thorny. A couple of decisions you have to make, but once you make them, fantastic, over, done. Nuisances and problems that come to you the month of July will be um, pointed to, will be underscored or highlighted by a woman. She's going to say to you, look, this is the area that, you know, is difficult for you. This is the area, this, and this is what you need to do. And this is, so she's going to bring that to light to you. Uh, something hidden. There is something hidden in matters of the home or what you call your home. Um, and they will be emerging. Also matters of written communication, those, that is where you, that's what you should avoid, written communication. Written communication to say something to someone, not if you're an author and you're writing, I'm not saying that. This is when you have to communicate something, it's best done in person orally. And a male influence in your life is going to bring you love. Um, a male that um, revolves around you in some way is going to be um, talking to you about love. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a partner. It doesn't necessarily have to be a loved one. But they will be even philosophizing about love. And a female influence in your life will make you understand. A female will um, show you the mysteries behind the notion of death and what it truly holds for you, because it is a mystery of life. And she will be uh, making you understand more clearly the, what happiness can come to you through embracing our, uh, our stay on this earth and giving thanks. She'll teach you how to give thanks for this time here. Now, you, I'm going to take the runes, and it would be probably necessary, Pisces, for you to go back and listen a couple of times, because there are so many things that, that may resonate, and at first, uh, at first sight, after you hear it once, it doesn't, you know, so at the end of the month, you might want to check, but it is, there are a lot of layers to this reading. Let's take a look at, at the runes, and what do they have to say? Nice. Pisces, nice. All right, now, 
Let's get rid of these difficult runes, all right? <laughs> Hagal Hagalas. We get it. There is a delay. It's always a delay. Every time I see Hagal Hagalas, I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> Hagal Hagalas. All right. Limitations. There's a, there are limitations. We get it. Forces out of your control. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's move on. Okay. So let's put Hagal Hagalas. Another rune that I really don't care for, but you know, we all have to face everything that life brings is Aiza. Now, Pisces, Aiza is a rune. It literally means ice in rune speak. So it's, it's about a cooling down in a relationship. And, and, you know, it has to do most likely with matters around a, uh, the home. Now I'm going to show you, well, there are other runes that are Merck Stave that are not beautiful runes, but I will tell you them. We have Aljitsir Merck Stave upside down. And usually um, this is a fortune. This talks about a fortunate new influence in your life friendship. Well, it's not fortunate. You have to see things that occur to you. People who will be talking to you about certain things that will open your mind to understanding some mysteries. And that's what this rune's telling you about. I have Keenats here as Merkstave as well. Now, Keenats uh, is usually warm. There's power. There's energy here. Something new is starting. Well, that there's none of that. What is happening with uh, Keenats in this position is that the, the mysteries of life come to you, Pisces, and they tend to, instead of exalting the mystery of life, you start to become saddened by the mysteries of life. But there are these figures like the woman who will be talking to you about how to embrace certain mysteries of life. Then we have Anzus, which is Merkstave. As you can see, it's upside down. And this is all about oral communication and communication in general. As I said, the oral communication is blessed Pisces, uh, but the written communication uh, needs to be careful with. You have to be careful with that. Now, let's see the rest of the runes. Now, we do have this lovely rune. Okay, we have these three. Uh, wunyo, joy, happiness, positive outcome. Um, in terms of your affections, now affections extend to family members, your loved ones, inner circle, outer circle. There's joy there. Um, there is this, um, this uh, notion of learning about the mysteries of life, and you will be blessed with that this month. I have beautiful manats, um, which is interdependence. You'll, you will receive aid. And like I said, there is this um, female that will be talking to you about the mysteries of life. You will be receiving aid. And this tells you that it's time to make new plans, Pisces. It's time to make new plans. So let's make new plans. Um, this is e, um, Otala. Otala is a rune that talks about things that money can buy. Okay, you get that. And you, it, it's a burden for you. You know, you have things that you have to do and you're more in the spiritual realm this month. But um, you are consumed by an ideal and that ideal takes the, the, um, form. It can take the form of a philosophical ideal, a spiritual ideal. And in fact, I did mention, um, that you learn about the mysteries. It's a mystery. Uh, uh the, the mysteries of life are important to you this month. I do hope this was of help to you, Pisces. Namaste. And do have a good 4th of July if you to celebrate that. And have a good 4th of July for me too. <laughs> um, write under the video a bit about your story. And, and if you, if you uh, would like to exchange it with us, it's always wonderful for us to exchange stories and storytelling. I'm, I'm a big fan of storytelling. It, it's what makes the world go round. Stay well, and I will be back soon, Pisces. Bye-bye.